and here is a crucial step now so development build allows you to write your own native code which we have discussed right react native cli and the second option is expo code so this is why i have clearly explained you those differences because you can select the option based on the differences which we discussed <music>
yes we deal with native libraries in the cli we have full access for the native libraries as we deal with native coding here in cli we have the full access to the native libraries but in expo again this is limited and app size also native cli apps are smaller in size because we make use of only the things which we require whereas in expo we get the things like a bundle in the initial stage itself so the slightly the size of the application will be larger when compared to the react native cli applications and build and deployment so this is again a manual process just like how you deal with the android and ios applications here it's very simple in expo you can just build the application and that will get deployed onto your device and ota updates here ota in the sense on the air updates so it's not inbuilt for the react native cli so you need to go through the normal process like how you will deploy the applications and make them available onto the device like app store play store kind of things but in expo it's like a built-in functionality so like when you make a change that will get reflected onto the application then and there so this is not possible in the react native cli based native cli based application and push notifications this is also easier when you deal with expo based application but in the normal react native cli this is a bit a manual setup which you always do with the native applications so the last point is react native cli is best for the production based applications and again what i mean production based is like when you want to have a certain specific functionality like camera bluetooth i mean when you want to deep dive with these particular kind of functionalities then react native cli will be very much helpful for you whereas when you use expo right it's a beginner friendly you can easily create an application and you can easily deploy it as well but make sure there are few limitations that you need to understand in the expo applications and let's try to see the demo as well so here the code for this particular tutorials will be provided in the android coding.in and also the technical blocks you can find it amplifyab.com so here is our firebase studio page where we can create a react native application so this is our previous flutter application and here you have got react native plus expo option now so let's try to click it and let's name our application like my react native so this just i'm giving a name and you can just append it according to your requirement and here is a crucial step now so development build allows you to write your own native code which we have discussed right react native cli and the second option is expo code so this is why i have clearly explained you those differences because you can select the option based on the differences which we discussed there and if you are just confused i will be providing the differences in detail in my website you can just go and visit there and for now i am clicking the expo code because it is very friendly it is very beginner friendly way of creating the applications so i'll be just going with the expo go here and make sure this will take some time as we have even seen in our previous tutorials this is not a quick way to set up the application so it will take some initial level time because here the virtual machine will spin up and make sure all the environment is ready here and then only we can enter into the ide so just please be patient and wait till all these four steps completed then you can enter into the id so here you can see now our id is loaded which will similarly look like a vs code here so if you are familiar with vs code initially this will be very much easy for you if not also it's not a very challenging task it's very easy to get started and here you can see the react native code here on the left hand side pane so here in the package.json you can find the dependencies here and also you can add the required dependencies if they are not present in this particular dependencies according to your project requirement and here even our device is now readily loaded and you can just move the things here i want code on the left hand side and the devices on the right hand side and here we have got the power of gemini ai also so you can make use of this particular Gemini AI chat window here and do the wipe coding as well. 
and here you have got the agent access as well and also you can ask the query and get clarified with the queries and make use of them so accordingly you can make use of these two things so now uh, let's try to run this particular code and see the output once we have not written anything we are just trying to see the output that's it so here you can see the expo splash icon which is displayed here which is nothing but on the expo we are now able to load our react native application and here you can also see the bundling status here even on your mobile device right you can install this expo application which will be available in the play store and app store as well and when you start implementing the code you can immediately get the output displayed onto your device you need not connect any data cable or you need not connect any wi-fi based connections as well because this is not depending on those factors directly in the expo application these things will be installed so here on the right hand side you can clearly see the output of this particular application and you can also find the code over here so this is the index page the first page of your application and here you have got the code here which is displayed on the left hand side now and also we have got the explore tab and the code for the explore tab is also displayed here and this is the code section which most of you might be well familiar with and here you have got the assets folder components constants just try to go through them and play with them and if you are having any queries just let me know in the comment section below and as we have deal earlier app app.json here so this will provide the app related details and here you can display the logo for your android and ios applications as well and now here you can also make use of Gemini API and try to make the changes in this particular code. So I suggest you to go through this particular tutorial and try to get started with this. And if you are having any queries, just let me know in the comment section below. And I think this is a good start for this particular React Native Firebase Studio based applications. And I will end this tutorial here. And if you have any queries, just let me know in the comment section below. And also stay subscribed to the channel for more interesting content.